Hey guys, Nick Hawks here with Gristle King. I've got uh, amateur jade hair in the background and I'm uh, sitting up on top of this valley. having just done my maintenance on the, uh, on the hair. Waiting for it to uh, make sure the battery charged up. The winds came through and knocked the solar panel out of position so that uh, the battery was dead. Um, I figured while I'd wait, I'd give you a quick tip about where to put your hotspots is think about the whole POC cycle, right? Is that you make about 5% of your earnings off of a miner issuing a challenge. You make about 20% of your earnings off your miner issuing a beacon, which comes from a challenge. And about 75% of your earnings come from witnessing other beacons. So when you're looking for a spot to put your miner in, your hotspot in, is think about being in a spot where you can regularly witness the beacons of other miners because 75% of your earnings come from witnessing. So you want to be in a place where you have um, the routine kind of chance to witness. Now, over time, statistics say that, actually, let me back up. Every miner on the, on the network is able to submit a challenge a couple times a day. That, that can vary, but anywhere from two to four times a day is about what it, it should be. So that means every miner should also be receiving a challenge and beaconing out. But that doesn't seem to be how it works. It seems like sometimes some miners get more um, challenges than others. And also think about this, is if you're in a place with only two miners or five miners out of the 200 plus thousand on the network, you're just less likely to have one of those miners, especially in short periods of time, um, issue a beacon. And if you can't have a beacon issued, then you can't witness. If you can't witness, you can't do 75% of the earnings you're going to do. So you want to be in a place with enough miners that it is very likely that you're going to be routinely witnessing beacons. Now there's another little uh, twist in there in that, you know, the, the witnesses, um, all the all the witnesses of a beacon from that group of witnesses, 10 of them are randomly chosen to you know, earn off of that witness. So if you've got more miners, um, you would become kind of less likely to witness. But from what I'm seeing, and right now as of whatever it is, October, I don't know, fifth or something, um, one of the best spots to look for a bunch of miners doing really well is Albuquerque. Albuquerque's got about 300 miners in it, and right now 300 miners seems to be about the right amount of miners to have lots and lots of miners, so there's lots and lots of beacons to reliably witness. There's also some issues there with the topography and geography, kind of how the whole thing is one giant bowl, so if you're up high you can see any other miner, and it's pretty flat, but lots of mountains around it, so you can get high pretty easily. Uh, but that's a, that's a good spot to look at, at least right now, early October 2020. 21 as far as uh, the right number of miners providing good coverage and also kind of routinely pinging off these beacons that lots of other hotspots can witness. So takeaway is make sure that if you want to earn maximum HNT, you're in a location that has plenty of miners um, so that you can routinely witness plenty of beacons and earn a bunch. What that number is will vary over time. If you're watching this in, you know, April of 2022, this is going to seem a little bit ridiculous. Um, but as of as of right now, this is kind of a good way to to think about the whole thing. All right, rock on, earn up.